hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. <laughs> My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT. China Lady Explosive One T and T D I N O M I G H T. What's up, Jonas? Oh, nothing. Not a lot's happened since last week. Actually, a lot has yeah, happened. Yeah, dude, it's been a good week. news week. Actually, we want to thank y'all for watching we got a ton live of shit. on Twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media Live. If you're catching this on replay on YouTube, thank you. Also, make sure you follow all of our social media, Crazy Town Media on Twitter and Instagram. Also, the cornucopia of continuous information. TheCrazyTown.com. We have a website, essentially, is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> if you want to subscribe on YouTube. Uh, oh, yeah, to YouTube. Go there. Crazy Town subscribe. Media on there. We just started a new playthrough of Resident Evil 2. On and and uh, wait. That, that, NBA Live. And, uh, don't tell Assassin's the other. Creed, oh, uh, my, it's not out yet, Joe. You ruined the surprise. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah it's well, tomorrow. Live viewers, I guess you get to know. <laughs> right, right. So, TNT, a lot has happened. Since last week <laughs> yes. and the week before. Yeah, man. You want to start off? You want me to start? Got, is it I, my uh, turn to start off? I'll start out because I have some updates. Okay. Well, I have, updates. since right. we we previously didn't do a lot of really current articles, a lot of current stories, but since we are, I figure we should update the viewers with updates. All right. Update you, them here. with updates. Go figure. This is for you guys at home. What First off, Jesse Smollett. 16 felonies. 16 felonies <laughs> up to 64 years in prison. They don't have any... Uh, 16 felonies. Any information about when his trial starts, but it's... Uh, yeah, man. They're trying to make an example of that, man. Oh. And honestly, probably should You know, be. if he was just like an average guy, they probably wouldn't go so hard at him. But since he was a prominent man on a popular TV... Not prominent man, but he was on a popular TV show. Relatively popular. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. They're not even. They're, they say they probably won't even pick it up for a six. Well, after season. this shit happened, man, they're like, Pfft. yeah, people don't want him. Nah, dude, he no. Nope. Got fired. He's off the show, but they still don't know if they're going to bring the show back. So yeah, who knows, man? He but, fucked it up for everybody. Yeah, yeah well, mm, sometimes Ma can't have nice things. <laughs> Mar Martin Luther King is rolling over in his grave. Oh Jesus! We have another update. What else? Takashi. Is he getting out? Six nine. <laughs> um, you got a little fun so <laughs> yeah, right, a little, little moco in my, in my uh, chest right, here. What happened with Takashi? I haven't heard this yet, actually. Okay, so based on his narking information mm. and his testimony, that sounds like something he would do. Uh, they they've elected the U.S. Attorney's Office has elected not to prosecute crimes one through nine and all additional crimes that he's told them about while he's been narking. Oh, so the ones that would have got him for 47 years. Yes. Okay. It Ooh. says if he follows through with all, everything and he Zero. testifies, Zero they years. are going to suggest, and I quote, a sentence below any mandatory minimum for him. And he is eligible for witness protection. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I'm telling, and I don't give a fuck. Get me out of here. He's like, the first thing I need to do is take Ugh. this 69 off my forehead. I'll put a 70 up there. No, no, no the man, you know what? I don't even know what he could do. They're not well, going to allow him to be a, a, a rap star anymore. He no. can't be an artist anymore. No, no, he's, but he'll have to get tattoo removal, dude. You can't walk around with a 69 on your face. Someone's going to find out. He ain't gonna have rainbow hair. He's gonna have like a buzz cut. You know all those pictures? Like mm. you'll see those ads that pop up. It's like, what would Takashi look like without all the tattoos and the normal hair? Like those yeah, stupid things. Yeah. That's what he's gonna be. Well, see, I, and here's the thing: is that they froze his assets, right? He had a lot of people stealing from him, but yeah. he got rid of them right before he went in. They froze his assets. He had about eleven million dollars, I think. It was either eleven or nine, one or two million dollars yeah, yeah. in the bank. That's plenty to live off comfortably for the rest even of your life. Even if they life. confiscate half due to his like criminal nature, he's. I mean, even if they, they left him, they with, won't. Though. Even if they left him with one million dollars, he'd yeah. be all right. Yeah, you know, and I could see them being some dicks and being like, "We'll leave you with two. We'll leave you with sixty nine hundred dollars." But two million dollars, <laughs> yeah, right? dude, you're sixty nine hundred. Yeah, two million dollars is still plenty. I'm just saying he's gonna be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except for all the people wanting to kill him. He may not be all right that Ugh, way. Yeah. He's not making any friends <laughs> in the streets. Another update. What's up? Robert Kraft. 
Dude, this one's fucking juicy. Okay, I haven't heard this one either. That's your there's, man's. There's, there's a couple things here. Yeah, this is your man's, by the way. Oh, my man's. So I guess they have like 26 people. The FBI has 26 people on video. Mm -hmm. It said, including ejaculation and cleanup caught in the thing. And they, they feel that Robert Kraft is one of the people they have on video. This is on the New York Times and shit, dude. What does that have? So? What? So, like, they have Robert Kraft getting, like, jerked off on well, camera. What? We already knew that No, happened. they have, like, actual video evidence of him. Jonas. Okay, yeah, well, all right. we already knew it happened. I don't, I don't want to see a 60-year-old man ejaculate. I don't either. But that's just even more embarrassing for him. Another, another thing, I'm not going to get into it because it's a little bit political. Is it Trump? You were there. The lady who the lady who owns these this this salon or salon whatever used to own it. I think now uh -huh. her name is Lee Yang. Yeah, Lee Yang. There is some pictures floating around online of her taking a selfie with Trump at a Super Bowl party or something a couple of years ago. Oh, so I'm not gonna get into the Trump part of it. I because I didn't really I didn't really look at it enough to really think. But there could be some ties to this jerky salon. I mean, yeah, to, I, I to don't the know. Trumpster, he's boys with Kraft, right? So, well, I mean, all millionaires and billionaires are boys, Man. but I don't think they know what's going. Like, dude, I don't know that you like hunt women at night and <laughs> keep them in the kennel under your bed. <laughs> Wow, I don't know. Kennel, right? <laughs> I don't know if you do this uh, specific thing. I, I guess, but so, yeah. yeah, I don't. It just looks bad for him. It does, but eh, and yeah. one last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, You're not necessarily so the company. This you lady's keep. name is Lee Yang, and while I was looking up articles, I don't know if the guy who wrote the article is trying to be like cute, but as you can see right now on the screen, I can't see it, but that's fine. He, uh, I will see. He it. put up the Herald reported the chain spot. Yank still owns, has gained mm. a reputation for offering sexual services. Yang has denied any wrongdoing. That's probably her street name. <laughs> she, she, they call me Lee Yank, motherfucker. They call her Yank in the streets. <laughs> so, um, you go get your so I don't know up. if that was just like a clever thing or his mind was playing tricks when he was writing. Yeah, but that's pretty good. And uh, one last update before we move on. They have potentially found a third person... HIV free from the bone marrow transplants. Nice, nice. This person is in Dusseldorf. Bone they bone? are off their antiviral drugs. There is two more people who have done the, the bone marrow transplant, mm -hmm. but have not take, stopped taking antivirals yet. So there could be two more potentially. Yeah, and they have to take it for like 18 months or something. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, and I didn't know that this last time, but it said it couldn't be used except for on high risk patients. The only people who can do this are people that have HIV and, and cancer. cancer. I'm like, yeah. God damn, dude. Like, you gotta be fu I'm fucking amazed that there's right. this many people. <laughs> right. They got two more people Not who are just in line. Are yeah. you dying of cancer? You yeah. also have potentially have AIDS. Yeah, fam. I got the AIDs and the cancer. Damn, up. dude. That. <sighs> yeah. That's fucking Whew. ridiculous. Yeah, so those are all the updates. We're gonna keep updates coming for y'all. Sorry, um, if you got gonorrhea, we don't know what to tell you, but <laughs> cancer AIDS, dude, we got you unlocked. Yeah, maybe. We'll hook you right on up if you got cancer <laughs> and AIDS. Maybe, maybe. All right. So we're gonna start uh, with me. Did you use paper this week? I used the paper this week. It is uh it's not in the best condition, but it is here. You're gonna be using like an empty like food wrapper from like McDonald's <laughs> in a couple of weeks. I'm I'm trying to make it a thing. Like one of these days I am just gonna have it on the back of a potato chip. Like bag. a scroll, you're gonna etch it out. Never. Okay. No, I'm gonna put it on the back of a potato chip bag Ooh. and it's gonna be written in magic marker and I'm gonna be like, here's my that's nice. Anyway. Uh <laughs> let's, let's start here. Okay. Jonas, did you realize that until recently, it was illegal to have sex outside of marriage in Utah? Uh, that sounds about right. Yeah. They don't want you fucking if you're not married. So, uh, in 1973, it was a Class B misdemeanor to have fornication. So if you caught your like husband or wife cheating, you no, get arrested. No, that's adultery. That's different. That was actually illegal countrywide uh back in like the 40s and oh, 30s okay. and so, shit. Oh, oh no, yeah. this is just like oh, period. Like yeah. if like little Joey and little Janice are like high school sweethearts and they're like, "Oh, prom night." Exactly. They bust them like, "Go to jail, bitch." <laughs> so get that <laughs> penis out of her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're locking you and that dick up. <laughs> 
So in in 1973, Section 76-7-104 of the Utah State Legislation says any unmarried person who shall voluntarily engage in a sexual intercourse with another is guilty of fornication and it was punishable by fine <laughs> it's like, like a class b misdemeanor we so. caught you fucking yeah give us 50 bucks it's your fuck uh, i think it might have been like a fine or maybe if not even a short a misdemeanor doesn't get you jail time hashtag fuck tax <laughs> <laughs> basically it'd be worth it if you're asking me uh <laughs> They're just like they're not. They're knocking on your window, like ting, ting, ting. What happens if they catch you fucking yourself? Uh, dude, I don't know. There's probably a law <laughs> against that. It turns out that it's not yet repealed. Uh, the House representative has to pass the bill or veto, Ooh. and we're talking about Governor Gary Herbert. And uh, they just recently repealed the laws against sodomy and adultery as well in Utah. Jesus. So people. man, they do not want well, you putting your dick anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> not even your, you can't even touch your penis when you go to the bathroom if you're yeah. not married there's already enough restrictions on my dick with the underwear that i wear and the fact that i can't put it in animals and now you want to tell you, me that's a problem i mean i'm just saying okay. dude okay. i'd okay. like to have the choice Generally, all right? wow i don't plan on no see stop no see no i'm just saying i don't want everybody telling me what to do they're all judging you right I, now. I don't give a fuck i like your canadian flag on your uh mask with the Toronto's oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> You think draped. I don't think about you're this? You're all draped up. <laughs> Dude, salute to our boys up north. But that's my that's my story, man. Basically, is that uh, they holding you down in, in Utah. Is that because of, like, what is it, the Mormons? Yeah, they're uh, Mormons. And they're very, like... Yeah. But they don't they have, like, sex cults? Uh, or, like, essentially, they, like, force, yeah. like, people to marry each other and... Yeah. It seems... Honestly, it does seem like a pretty hard law to enforce. Like, fornication? Well, yeah, well, I mean, they'd have to catch you. So it's exactly. like they catch you at like, at, like, lookout point, like, with your exactly. balls deep in your exactly. girl. You, like, like, I'm guessing if, like, a cop finds you fucking in public, they can hit you with two things, essentially. But, like, public indecency and fornication. Well, right, but, like, if, like, yeah, if you were in your car having sex, like, behind a Walmart, like... <laughs> like Why has it got to be me, Jonas? <laughs> I don't I'm just know. glad you said. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just using you as an example. All right, cool. So, so they catch you behind Walmart. Uh -huh. You're fucking... Mm, you're getting it right yeah just fucking that sheep and right in the, i mean <laughs> no no she i meant her as in she oh, not she gotcha yeah you gotta watch them puss yeah i have a list uh and he comes up and he's like takes his flashlight he's like tink 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 tnt dynamite i know you we've caught you here before <laughs> <laughs> i imagine if you get caught fucking not being married to a chick enough time by the cop then you will go to jail for it <laughs> I didn't do the research to see if this has ever happened, but honestly. Like, John, this is the 17th time we've caught you behind 7 Eleven having sex with your girlfriend. <laughs> now you I'm know. I'm calling your daddy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It I sucks, know. man. It sucks. Yeah, dude. But uh, hopefully you know they pass it, man. Cause we, don't, we don't live in Utah, so I don't care. Absolutely fucking not. You know one place I don't think I'm ever going to go? Where's that? Utah. <laughs> I don't know. Why do I go there? It makes you think like the basketball players there. You know they're fucking dude. Yeah. You know. Carl Malone played his career there for like twenty years. Yeah, and he didn't stay there Josh because Stockton. he didn't stay there because they knew how to season chicken either. <laughs> he stayed there because the Mormon bitches yeah, go like, crazy. Josh looked like he didn't have sex. I but... think he was Mormon. Oh, maybe that's why. That's why ah, he, he looked know. Mormon, didn't? He? Oh. Yeah. More men. I wonder if I wonder if all the players are Mormon, or if that's like a prerequisite for the Jazz. Yeah, dude, Carlos Boozer went there from the Cavs. That dude ain't Mormon. Yeah, that's true. He was all probably right. fucking chicks. <laughs> oh yeah, More. LeBron's mom. Give me was some that him? No, that was, that was Delonte West. No. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, we don't talk about LeBron on the show. I'm gonna talk about an internet challenge. What's that internet challenge? Is this the the one with the garbage? Can I, can I tell you that I hate internet challenges for the most part? Like. The Kiki dance, fucking people getting hit by cars and shit. The, the Tide Pod challenge. The Kiki dance. Fucking <laughs> yes, Dad. The Kiki dance. The bird box challenge. Dude, what's that? What's what's it's, Kiki it's, dance called? What's the actual <laughs> challenge called? It's the In My Feelings challenge, Dad. In My Dad. Feelings challenge. <laughs> there is a challenge right now, and you did just mention it. Uh, hashtag trash tag. Yeah, I've seen it. It's fucking, the, I can get behind this a hundred percent. But are you? I'm, I mean, I may go do it, but I can get behind. <laughs> people doing this challenge dude don't not... judge me when i post my picture i'll throw it on your 
crazy town complex bed. <laughs> crazy town complex bed. Yeah. So basically what this is, is you find a area that's littered in garbage mm -hmm. and you take a before picture of the area littered in garbage out in like the wilderness or a park or whatever. Then you clean up all the trash and then you post a picture of you and all the bags. Mm. And I guess this is an old hashtag, but it really just caught wind again in March. Like someone basically challenged all the millennials or the young kids, the bored teenagers. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, if you're so fucking bored, why don't you do something useful and put it out? And then it's, it started to gain traction. <laughs> I hope it keeps traction forever. Because what we need is clean earth. <laughs> Yeah, I agree we need clean earth. I, I think it's a super wholesome meme, but, like, there's got to be some people who are just bullshitting their way through it. Oh, I'm sure. They're like, hey, look, I'll take a picture of this place before it's dirty. Then I'll just dump all my trash on it and take a picture <laughs> and switch the pictures that's around. How they're, that's how they're, they're bringing their bags of garbage from home. Yeah, dude. And they, like, they stack them all up like, oh, 88 bags. And they dump it all over the, yeah. dump, dump it all over the creek. And they're or you like, can just go and collect all your neighbor's trash cans and just put it in front of an area that's already clean and but, be like. But then you have to dump it out and make it dirty. True. So they're littering. Yeah. It's the littering challenge. Oh, it's way easier and more fun to litter. Would you do this? No, uh, would you would you save the earth? See now look, you're gonna make me look like an asshole, Jonas. I don't wanna look like an asshole. Wow. <laughs> wow. No, because I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Am I the asshole for not doing it? Well, I don't know. Uh somebody else said they're not gonna do it either. Thank you. Or maybe they're gonna say that you won't do it because no, they know I'm, you. I'm not I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. It would never happen. You wouldn't? Jonas. Dude, what? I would clean up some shit. <laughs> get out there then, motherfucker. I gotta get to the dirty area first. Well go find bag. one. Go find one. Dude, that's the hardest part. You We've got some hefties right underneath the sink over here. I got a hefty something for you. <laughs> and a goddamn and a goddamn trash bag, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Is it my turn? Is that the end of your story? I don't know if you have more. Do you have more? You want to talk about trash? Yeah, well, I mean, I sure. mean that's it. I was gonna, <laughs> I, just meant, I just meant general. Do you want we to talk about garbage? We have determined that I am comfortable with saying no, I won't do it, and you are not comfortable with saying that you're not going to because I'm not you're gonna search out a place to do it. This is what if I'm talking about. Listen, listen. And the truth shall set you free. If I have a bag with me, because you know I travel with trash bags constantly. I'm getting ready to put some in the back of your car just to see if it gets opened. All right. I will go purchase some extra large some, hefties. And I'm on a trail, which I'm not on trails very often. Uh -huh. and I, if find, <laughs> I Look. I'm and there's garbage. enough trash. The trash to trail ratio has to be. Has to be there has to be 75% more yeah. trash than trail. Yeah, dude. And you have to have bags. Right. In a place that you've never been. No, I mean, I could have been there before. Okay, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> on to the next one. No. Oh, Jonas needs to do the challenge update next week. He won't. Uh, hashtag fuck tax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonas, this is going to be a quick one, too. All right. Um, there was a billionaire diamond trader. He okay. was 65 years old. Okay. But, but he had a little bit of a problem, Jonas. Could he, did he have impotence? It was kind of worse than that, actually. Did it fall off? Can you imagine that? Leprosy what, of the what, penis? What could be <laughs> leprosy of the penis? Yes. He had <laughs> penis leprosy, Jonas. <laughs> it's a tragic, it's a, affecting many young men <laughs> and old men all over yeah, the world. If he just had cancer and AIDS, we, <laughs> we got we, you fixed. We cure him of the AIDS right. treatment. But no, he had a problem. He had an exceedingly small penis. Like how, like when you say exceedingly, like what's, what constitutes a micro penis? Dude, I don't know if I'm qualified to answer this question. <laughs> You're like anything less than 12, I guess. I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Jones. Good shit. <laughs> Good shit. Like, all right. So, but he did. He had a very small penis. I don't know how big his dick was. Okay. All right. I thought it maybe took a picture. And notice that I used the uh, preposition was. Uh, so he Aww. is. He 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 passed away. Aww. Uh, 65 years old. Billionaire diamond trader, mind you, billionaire. He was getting a penis enhancement surgery. When he died, had a heart attack oh. on on the uh, the old nursing bed. And a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can cringe. You can cringe right now. I know. I did it. It was good. Um. So yeah, it says that he was just he was just really obsessed with his with his penis size. Well, I guess like if you have like a non-existent penis, it, like I guess you would just like be like, can I at least have like an average size penis? Like, You're a billionaire, dude. The thing is, I don't understand why you wait till you're 65. If I'm a billionaire and I got a problem with my dick size, I'm just going to pay somebody else for their dick. I want to pick yeah. a dick out of a lineup well, and have him so... Yeah, dude! Is that possible? I don't know. Probably. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I'm they, just going to... They my... liked my heart attack joke. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to... I'm going to pick my dick out of a lineup and I'm going to be like, uh, hmm. No, I'll take Tyrone. The Tyrone. And they just give Tyrone money. For yeah, him. dude. Are you gonna have a dick swap? I got a billion dollars. It's like a face. It's like face off with John Travolta yeah. and Nick Cage. They're just like swap. Just swap <laughs> the dicks. Like I don't know what they do in a dick enlargement surgery. Oh. Uh... But uh, I I imagine that it's uh pretty hard on the old <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely hard on something. Da -da -da. Um. Okay. But here, here's where I guess I, I guess I feel you on that because, mm -hmm. like, so say your penis is like the size of like your thumb, right? I'm not gonna say my penis yeah, is the size of your exactly thumb. Exactly speaking, a man has a penis <laughs> this big, right? No, no, most of them don't. Completely erect. This is it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ugh. Let's say even like this. All right. Okay. Can I? I'll make the balls. <laughs> These are the balls. <laughs> All right. Don't touch right. me. Never Anyways, touch me ever again. So like, if you enhance it. What yeah. the fuck do they like? They just stretch it's, it. Yeah, it's stretchy skin, man. And, but what do they pump in it? I don't know, like fluid or something. There's like, like a button you can press, and it. Oh, you have like robo penis? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, they do it for like guys with e with like uh, erectile dysfunction. There's like a little button that goes. So they put like a metal rod inside it and it no, just like stands no. up. It's like fluid sex, like penis implants. That's fucking weird. That I know about, but I don't know if they do that for an enlargement uh, surgery. I don't know. Like, what do they fill? They fill it with like sawdust or something? <laughs> yeah. Like, because you got to put something in there, right? They put uh, the leftover salad uh, bar lettuce from uh, some down the street. Just a little, <laughs> some romaine, some bromaine all up in your pepe. Oh Jesus! A good chance, dude, that would be awful. But like, dude, you know the worst part is that that is the way he died. Like, oh. there's, dude, is there a worse way to die than? I guess like your dick gets cut off and you bleed to death. No, at least Jonas. he was out. No, Jonas. he went to sleep and went and died. You might as well have been having heart surgery. You don't understand. I'm not saying it was the most painful or the most excruciating way to die. I mean the fact that you're a billionaire and you die getting a penis enlargement surgery and it's fucking front page of the new york goddamn times like his fucking son dude yeah, and... yeah. <laughs> like everybody knows like, that you're like he probably just told his family and friends like oh i have to get a uh i have to get a uh, i just gotta get a, a an surgery operation. yeah i got oh. this bunion on my foot no now everybody knows that you were getting oh, your dick biggened yeah. and <laughs> <laughs> you were getting your fucking dick biggened, and you died. You see who popped in? The beardy friends. What's up, friends? What's up? So, <laughs> fucking, yeah, dude. I am not putting gel sacks in my wang. I don't plan on doing All it. All right, good enough. But that's my story, man. So, you know, big ups <laughs> to my tiny penis friends up there. <laughs> Shout Pick out up. to the Pour out a small guys. Pour out a little, a little dove for you, just a little oh, bit. Oh of... God! Don't get... What is that? It's a little dove, man. You gotta pour it out for your homies. Wow! You just Ajax all over the place. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Anyways, so <clears throat> what? How do you feel about food stamps and government assistance in general? I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. You don't care. Why do people? Why? <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. You talking about like what? Like poor people? Well, I mean, you have to meet requirements to get food stamps. You got to meet, okay. Like, you have to be under a certain income or so many dependents or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids and shit. So, Alabama. Yeah. Fucking has introduced a bill. Uh-huh. And this isn't the first time this has come up. I think other countries may do this. Yeah. That you would need to pass drug tests to continue to receive your government assistance. Well, that's bullshit. It says... Jonas, you know that's bullshit. Well, yeah, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through it okay, keep about going, why. Keep, keep it going. So basically, here's what the... the it, it still has to be voted on. It's probably going to get shot down because it's a little extreme. If you 
fa- have more than one positive, you become ineligible. Yeah. So you get one chance. Uh-huh. More than two positives, permanent ban forever. You can never get more government assistance ever. And this is if you smoke weed. Fail a drug test. It didn't specify <coughs> which drugs. You know okay. No. <laughs> Let me go through it all, then we'll discuss. Now, my, my one thing was like, fuck, what if like you have some kids and the parents a crackhead or whatever? <laughs> Wait, you gotta watch out for the cracks, bro. You know what I mean? You can designate a third party to get your kids' benefits if you get banned. And if you refuse to take a drug test, you're automatically deemed ineligible. (laughs) So go ahead and say what you had to say. We'll we'll go from there. This is bullshit. I'm like, this is I'm like, I'm okay. I'm I'm furious. I I agree that it's bullshit, (laughs) but where where's the bullshit coming from? I want to see what where you're yeah, at. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this country Are doing you? this bullshit. Jimmy. Are you? I am. The U.S. I'm fucking tired of it, man. Because this is strategically targeted to. To target the black community, Jonas. Is it? Yeah, Jonas. Oh my god. It is. Wow. And it's because of people like you. <laughs> you kidding me, man? You kidding me? I gave you 30 years TNT, of TNT, TNT, and you killing me! TNT, 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 they say I hog tied those women. Why would I, I'm not a hog tie nobody? Why would I hog tie them? I don't know, TNT. Anyways, and scene. <clears throat> back to uh, back to this. So, so why? What is your? What is the problem? Yeah, dude, they should definitely take drug tests. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> dude, All of that. Yeah, dude. Oh, fuck that. I didn't even know this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> All they right. Should definitely do drug tests. Yeah, dude. Well, here, here's the thing. I agree with the drug test because yeah. I feel that like people work the system. Hmm. Um, I don't, I don't even think it's that you work the system. It's that if you got enough money to buy drugs, then you don't need to be on welfare. And, right. and honestly, I feel a lot of the times that the problem with these pe- with with people who need the government assistance, whether they be white or black, they if the drugs are an issue in your life, getting yeah. you off of those is going to aid you in getting off the government. Assistance. Right. And see, I think, and that's where I think my problem is. Like, <clears throat> I, I I agree. One more more than one positive. If more than one positive, you should have to go to drug rehab. Yeah, that would be helpful. Then, then if you continue to fail tests, then they can start banning you. But yeah, here's, here's see, the problem. That makes sense. That's a good. That's a good thing. But here's the problem. <clears throat> what do you, if you take away a crackhead's money? You're gonna have a hungry crackhead. They're gonna do more crime. That's They're true. gonna steal. They're gonna. And that that just brings your point about it should be about the reformation. Like this, it's a big problem even with like the right. uh, the justice the justicism or the penal system. You're right. It's like it, we're not reforming anybody. No, 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 no. By just like yeah, it's not about punishment. Like psychology said, it's not about punishing the child. It's about positive and positive reinforcement. Right. Exactly. Because basically, yeah, I've read articles that people who go to jail for like misdemeanor stuff, if Mm. they spend more than a certain amount of time, they basically are worse off than they were if they would have just not went to jail in the first place. Because you go into jail, Mm -hmm. you're dealing with jail shit, you're learning criminal shit from people who are hardened ass criminals in jail that like are lifetime criminals. You go in for like something silly like... Like you fucking steal or something, you know, like, and then next time, next thing you know, fucking murderers are beating your ass, fucking whatever. They're teaching you how to do shit. Then you get out and you're like, well, fuck the system. Fuck the system. You know, and you're like, yeah, man. And it, it's a shame because the way things are set up right now, yeah. it's just setting people up to fail, like, <laughs> <penal> consistently. <system. laughs> exactly. But yeah, dude, I feel this is a little, I like this idea. Yeah. Um, what I read about it, though, is that some areas have tried to do it, and the costs of the drug tests are more than what it costs for them to save the money in the thing. So it's like a whole balance of, like... Yeah. And like, I imagine if they were trying to give these people the help that they needed, right. even if they did, get right. caught, it would be even more, less cost-effective. Right, 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 right. It so would be it's, less cost-effective. But, but, but it becomes a vicious cycle, because, like, 
people work the system. People are like, oh, I can do this. I can have so many kids and the bubble. I never have mm. to work. I get government assistance. But people do that. Yeah. People work the fucking system. White, black, Hispanic, every, every fucking nationality works the system. Yeah. You know, know what I mean? It's not just, I mean. Do you have anybody in your family who's on welfare? I don't think so. You don't think so? I mean, I think like at different times when I was younger, we did. <clears throat> Things yeah. like that. I've seen a food stamp once in my life. Yeah. So I don't, I, I would not sit up here and say that I know the plight of being right. on welfare. Right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'll never <laughs> say that. But, uh, you know, you can always work yourself. The key is to work yourself off of it. And if you got to take a drug test, man, at least you can get a job. Because you can't even get right. a job if you're going to exactly. piss dirty. So. Exactly. Well, and here's the thing. It's government assistance. It's to help you through a tough time. It's not government life. All right, Jonas. We, can, we can't get too Republican you know I mean? here. We're going <laughs> to sound like a... Wow. Like I'm going to be wearing a MAGA hat next time. You got to watch. You got your soap all over the back of that Dude, shit. Dude, look. I'm good, man. It's just a piece of paper. All right. It's that's fine. it, man. That's your that's your last one. No, no. I mean. Oh I yeah, got, I got one I got, more. I got some shit to talk about. I got one more. What? All right. Uh, so Jonas, let's talk about your mans. I, how many mans do you I got? Have? Man, you got a lot of wow, mans. Wow, I got all the mans. I <laughs> you guess. got a lot of mans out there, Ooh. buddy. All right, we're gonna talk about your man, uh, Hier Hier Basilanaro. Oh, I'm sure that's exactly how he pronounced it. <laughs> he is the Hello, everyone. I'm Hassar Bolsonaro. Hier Bolsonaro. Anyway, he's right. the he's the Brazilian president, uh, and he recently tweeted out a uh, a picture from Carnival. Their one of their celebrations, like a big street party. Okay, this is the president. Like this is the president of Brazil. Are they a democracy? I believe they are. I believe so. Okay, yeah, all right. Said president. He's like Carnival. He was like, oh, what a great carnival we happened, and these are some of the people attending. And it was a man who was sitting at a bus stop, and he began to play with his asshole, and then he bent over, and then another man began to urinate on his ass. <laughs> he tweeted this Wait, from his official I thought, I thought presidential... Picture. Well, it was a video. It was, a... It was definitely a He's video. He's like, come see carnival, the best of the best. But your man tweeted this from, <laughs> from his official presidential account. His ideal behind it was to show that the degradation of Brazilian society had come to this. Is this is the type of shit that's happening at Carnival, and we really need to clean it up. But if you don't read Brazilian or you don't look at the caption, you're Portuguese. just seeing the president tweet out a golden shower. It was Portuguese. <laughs> was he Portuguese? No, they speak Portuguese. In oh, Brazil. yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you said Brazilian. Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, oh, so it just looks like he's putting out golden shower yeah. bits. <laughs> Funny story to follow yeah. up with that. Yeah. One time I was in downtown Austin. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And I was and I was taking an Uber home. Uh -huh. I was out downtown drinking. Taking an Uber home. We, You're we, feeling we, curious. We, we, <laughs> I was like, what's going on down this alley? Mm -hmm. No. So... I, I'm in the Uber. We stop at a stoplight. We look over. There is a man vomiting into a trash can. I've been him. Okay. I don't see a problem. While yet. we're sitting there, his buddy runs up behind him while he's puking in the trash can, starts grabs him around the waist and starts dry humping him on the corner of the street. So he's vomiting in the trash can and his buddy's dry humping him from behind. Well, that's just horseplay, Jonas. <laughs> the Uber driver's like, they're he, just horsing around. Catching the shit. Yeah, he's like, he's boys not. will be boys, you know? <laughs> Oh, shit. That's just some good old-fashioned horse. <laughs> he says that was him last week. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, man. It, it, but it it's, don't get as bad as Carnival. Carnival is known for the debauchery that takes place on the like, streets, man. Yeah. Hashtag fuck tax in yeah. the street. And apparently, fun fact, the term golden shower seems to be a universal tone or term. For every nationality, yeah, every country? After the president tweeted that, he got a backlash of like, why would you tweet out this golden shower picture? <laughs> he tweets out, what is a golden shower? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Jesus Christ. So, you know, it's a learning lesson for everybody. He got to learn what a golden shower. I got to learn that everybody, whether Portuguese or Italian or Japanese, Chinese, you know, we all think we all use golden showers. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, appreciate the, the good, uh, all right. the so good words, we'll do man. one more story. Do you want to do crazy murder or dumb criminal? Uh, let's do the dumb criminal because those are always fun. Okay. All right. Cool. This may be quick. So we may, we may, uh... <clears throat> all right. Cool. 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 All right. <clears throat> so 
Have you ever done anything stupid, to you? <laughs> Every day of my life. Is your life one big stupid? <laughs> we don't want to get into that. I only talk about that with my therapist. <laughs> this one time, I did something stupid. I need help. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. Yeah, no, man. Walter Earl Morrison. Okay, I can't tell if he's white or black from that. <laughs> all <name>. right. <laughs> but all right, let's keep we going. We can play Guess His Race. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what race it is. I he's like a 20-year-old man. Uh-huh. He, you know, he's he's trying hard. He's trying to, like, do himself. Uh, sounds That sounds completely he different. Trying to, he's trying to live his best life. <laughs> live his best life. Okay. I, uh, he got a job as a UPS cargo sorter. Oh, that's a good job, man. Great benefit. Yeah, man. He's like, There's nothing wrong with I that. got me a 401 ka Got himself some investments, some health insurance. Okay. And? He decided to steal a package. From the truck. From that the he, cargo center. That he was driving. Okay. And mm. it wasn't just any package. <laughs> he, he's, it was a package with a $160,000 diamond in it. So, right. So what package are they going to have an eye out for? Oh, I don't know. The six-figure diamond. What? How did, how did he even think he would get away with this? Because he's stupid. How big is this? Is this a Klopman diamond? Just for... Oh, I don't know, dude. This happened in Phoenix, Arizona, so it wasn't like overseas. No. Yeah, it was. Uh, so he decides. Who the fuck sends the diamond through UPS? <laughs> if you got a hundred and sixty thousand dollar diamond, don't you think you're gonna hire like a bird to fly that I'm shit? Where you trusting need to... some motherfucker in brown shorts to bring me my diamond? <laughs> Dude, okay. Are if you I had fucking kidding? If me? I had a hundred and sixty thousand dollar diamond, I would fly it myself to where it needs to go. I don't even know how to transport diamonds, honestly. In a briefcase, a briefcase with handcuffs and shit. <laughs> yeah, like and basically, and Jason Statham styles. It'd <laughs> oh, have dude, to be. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so you figure he's going to get caught, right? Yeah. They do catch him. He's like, I'm sorry, I don't have the diamond. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, we have it tracked. It, no. They didn't have it tracked? He goes, he goes, no, no, man, I, I traded that for some weed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jonas. He did not say that. He did. Jonas, what the fuck are you telling me? He traded. You're about a, to make me R. Kelly again. You're, you're about to R. Kelly. <laughs> yes, he I'm this traded, close to R. Kelly He again. traded a $160,000 diamond for $20 in weed. <laughs> you know what's fucked up? Mm. And <laughs> I, can just, I can just see the anger in your face. You know, you know what it is? What's that? It's that I, I, see, I see his mentality. I see what he was thinking. He was like, I'm going to steal this diamond. And he was like, what the fuck am I going to do with this diamond? Right, right. And he was like, dude, I'll give you this weed for that diamond, dude. I know what to do with it. And he was like, all right, dude. <laughs> and he was like, dude, I'm scot-free. I don't have to worry. He's going to give me, what, half, 10, 40% when he sells it? That's what Maybe. happened. Maybe. I yeah. don't know. I didn't have that. Yeah. But it was it's still stupid, man. It's dumb. All right? All right. <laughs> well, here's my thing. Why are people it said, well, basically, how the article determined how much weed it had, it said that he sold it for two joints. <laughs> Hold on. In a cold, according to, in and I quote, the global marijuana price index, <laughs> that's $20 worth of weed. What is the global marijuana price index? Mm. That's what I want to know. Now I really need to know what race this guy is. <laughs> He's a black dude. God damn it, Jonas! <laughs> taking L's! <laughs> Just taking L's! <laughs> I forgot we were playing that game still. Oh, God damn it, Walt! <laughs> Walt, what are you doing? So, not, so I wonder, okay, so here's where I wonder. Yeah. Did he not realize how much the diamond was worth when he stole it? Uh, I th like I said, dude, he he stole it, and he was like, I can't believe I got away with it. He probably didn't know what to do with it. Fran was like, I'll give you this bag of weed. I know what to do with it. Uh, I'll give you. I'll give you whatever. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. So that happened uh, in 2014, actually. Oh, that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, some time. I I tried to look up to see how much time this dude got. Mm -hmm. There was not one update. Oh god, he got killed. <laughs> this man is no longer alive. Yeah, it didn't even have his obituary. It just had that he was dead. Tiny brains, tiny penises. We Man, there. yeah, we what we covered today. We covered tiny brains, tiny penises. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, penises that are pissing on people out there. Oh yeah! yeah. Wow, there's a lot and of carnival. Oh, and and uh, drug addicts getting government assistance. I don't know. I I bought my paper up. It has soap on it. Oh, dude, you shouldn't so. have squirted all over it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So I don't know what else we talked about. I forget. Oh uh, yeah. But well, that's, I think that's it, right? Are, yeah. Are we yeah. done? Yeah. I mean, this was fun. Yeah, it was. So TNT Dynamite, I hate to say it, and I hate when this happens. I don't mind it. But that is all the time that we have for today's show. I'm going to be streaming Overwatch on our ancillary channel, and it, I think it goes on this It channel. hosts on here, but it does not give you a, uh, a notification. All right, so I'll be streaming Overwatch in about 30, 45 minutes if you guys want to come and watch that, by the way. All right, and what is your handle on Twitch? I don't know. It's dude. right there. Aren't you on your account? TNT Crazy Town. I don't know if it's on my TNT. It's TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. Is that what I should it, from? It's right there, yeah. yeah I know, dude. Up. This is my... My that's that's his, that's how per, his consummate professional whatever so yes if you want to follow him on twitch do that he'll be streaming shortly so but that is all the time we have please make sure to like us share this subscribe to our youtube crazy town media and of course uh the replay of this show will be up on youtube probably later tonight audio only versions on all the podcast streams will be up probably tonight as well we'll catch you next week same crazy time same crazy channel for Jonas, for TNT Dynamite, and Zestically, <laughs> we are out. out.